I'm going to ask the, the clerk's office to read those names as uh, I don't have the list in front of me, Jay. Council Chair, the first speaker will be Tom Perry, followed by Lorna Poe. Tom Perry. Tom, you start by introducing yourself and uh, my staff will be uh, uh, keeping time. Push front, the front of it. You got the blue light? Yes, I do. Good in. Uh, my name is Tom Perry and I'm the current director of the Hawaii State Teachers Association. I've been in that role for 18 years. Today I will be speaking as an individual. First of all, I want to thank you all for your due diligence in regards to Bill 2491. I'm here to try to tell you how we got here and why teachers are speaking about this. In 2008, actually the school year 2007-2008, teachers started to call me from Waimea Canyon School saying that they were getting sick and they couldn't understand why. They had to start closing their windows and to teach class, otherwise they were becoming sick along with, their, along with their kids. At first, I was very skeptical. I couldn't really understand how something like that could be going on on the island of Kauai. So I started visiting the school. And when I visited the school, the teachers had to, up on the second floor, there's a field that you can see from the west side of Waimea Canyon School that looks out towards the west. And there's a large field there. And the teachers started to actually videotape the things that were going on, the spraying that was going on. And many times we had to try to talk with the, with the administration and with uh, Syngenta, who was spraying in the field. Well, nothing really happened, and we were not able to stop any of the spraying until on the day of January 25th, 2008. That day, the Kona winds were blowing very hard, and the teachers called me and they said, we're really sick here. We have kids sick here. Everyone is getting sick. We need you to come here to try to stop this. So I drove out there, and that morning when we got there, there were ambulances in the courtyard by the health room where the students were getting sick in large numbers, along with the teachers. From here, they did send the kids home. They did send the kids to the hospital. And this was the first time on anywhere on Kauai we've had anything of this nature, this magnitude happen. So we had to do something further. Teachers, parents, and students organized, and we had to make signs, and we went out and held signs in front of the main uh, highway, but we also had to do something else. We couldn't find another way to stop the spraying, except we had to file, for the first time in the history of HSTA, a temporary restraining order. From that temporary restraining order, we went to the judge, Kathleen Watanabe, and with the lawyers, with our attorneys, we were able to stop the spraying. What I'm saying to you now is, teachers have been healthy since that time, but we need your help now so that you can put the types of protections in for the island of Kauai, because this has now expanded to such a great deal for this island. So please help us, please help fight and protect the island of Kauai. Tom, one uh, clarification, please. You're speaking on behalf of yourself Myself. or the Hawaii State H Teachers? HSTA has already submitted testimony in favor of this bill. Thank you very much, Tom. 